Well, out here with more seven days to die. And as you can see, we've gotten a little bit of stuff done. <laughs> I'll walk you through what we've got going on and where we are. And uh, yeah, so first we have to get started. So let's go. Okay, so what we have been doing um, in the last couple of days of game, at least since the Horde, is we went ahead and started mocking up, or at least getting some of the beginnings of the building in. Uh, I wanted to show you what it was going to end up hopefully looking like. So as you can see here, what it, basically what we're going to go for. Now, one of the things that I've run into is that the angling that is available in the game is not actually steep enough to allow it to give me the uh, the amount of lift that I want. So basically the angles are just too sharp. Um, it would be nice if there was a way to make those angles go out a little bit further. Uh, but what I may end up having to do is I may have to basically boost levels straight up uh, in between the ramps a little bit to stagger it a little bit more. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it actually plays out. So this should at least give you an idea of what we're going to be doing on all four sides and eventually it'll meet up into, uh, look at the angle that it's going, it's kind of probably going to meet somewhere around there or so uh, would be my expectation. But what we're going to do is we're going to have it go up to a flat point and then we'll build up from that. Oh, it's been a lot of concrete. So we have all of our stuff over here and it's kind of weird that the concrete is not drying it's like I've got stuff I've put in much later that's already dry and the stuff down here isn't but we're gonna have to repeat basically this structure all the way up all the way around ah, okay so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do some of that let's go ahead and get the platform at least the platform area done uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera because it's basically me just nerd pulling up and building out. So, <laughs> all right. So I'm going to do a, go ahead and do a quick cut and we will be right back. And we're back. So, um, yeah, basically what we've done is we've gotten the center line over here concreted up and in. We actually, here, let's go up and do this. We need to keep working on some of this anyway so but basically what we're doing is we're just joining all of this stuff together basically trying to tie the uh, the structural integrity of the entire thing into each other you know because sh shared SI is good okay and then at each one of these nexus points we're uh, taking it up one additional that way we know where the columns are because as we build up higher what we're gonna start running into is a situation where um, things just don't match up quite right so having an idea of where the pillars are that go all the way down the ground makes it much easier to, to make sure you've got your support in place so Ah, all right, so now we're gonna have to go through and fill in quite a bit of this. Right. So uh, yeah, the building itself, once it's done, I'm hoping that it'll be, you know, it'll be nice. We'll see how it actually comes out. Oh, see some of the stuff we've just did today is already dry and some of the, I don't I don't know. The whole thing just seems a little weird to me now. Um, I like the way it used to be where you'd place it, the block had basically a timer on it, and then it would uh, advance, but meh, is what it is. We can make do with it, right? Uh, next group. <laughs> 
So I've already used, uh, well, actually more than 500 blocks today, but uh, we'll, we'll count 500. Um, which means just this platform. One, two, so probably, well, you know what? We'll, we'll go through and see how many blocks we end up using. Because we, we started with 500, right? So it should work out for us. Here. All right. Uh, so yeah, this is basically what I've been doing in game. Uh, we have. Actually, I'm gonna have to go harvest more stone. I'm pretty much out of stone at this point. What I have left is being smelted down into cement so that we can make concrete mix. But we'll see how that ends up playing out when we're all when when it's all said and done. I will be surprised if just this platform doesn't take almost 3,000 br uh, bricks. Apparently we are being hunted. Okay, let's go deal with these guys. Ow. Whoopsie. Oh, that's not good. I forgot I have a, uh, <laughs> I have a club foot. So, let's give them a club head! There we go. Any more? Any more? Now, if you see a screamer, let me know. Because the screamers have to die with, uh... Not seeing one. Will you quit beating on the walls? I just finished putting that stuff together. You know what? Oh. I was gonna say, we're not even gonna play. You know what? Oh, gotta go. <laughs> it must sound like we had a screamer in there. Ooh. Now. This is something you have to deal with on any large build. Basically, you're going to run into a situation where you just have a ridiculous number of zombies starting to show up. So, because I've had people comment, "Oh, you know, you handled those so calmly. You know, you, know, you weren't worried." It's like, yeah, you just after a while, <laughs> you stop worrying about it and they become more of a nuisance than anything. Go ahead and drop you over there, put you in there. We're going to go ahead and clean these guys up. Mainly because I don't like having the corpses just laying here. Right. Empty bird's nest. See what you got in there. Oh. Uh, you know. I know, I know. Ooh. Oh, uh, drop those, drop those. It's really sad when the, the zombie corpses have... Even the zombies have stopped giving you loot, you know? Uh, hmm. Grab that, take those. Oh, do I really need lead? I don't know, I might need it. It's all starting to bleed together here. Okay, so you know, let's go ahead and... Oh, I'm not hungry at all. I thought I picked up... Fine, we'll do it that way. Okay. <laughs> See, look at that. How did they hit that? That's what I want to know. That was actually that was probably me. Come to think of it. Uh, all right. Well, while we're down here, let's go ahead and oh, look. I missed the spot. Oh. 
So yeah, as I was saying, uh, when you're doing the, the really large builds like this, you really can't avoid having zombie hordes in the area. It's just because everything you do is generating heat. Uh, the, there's the wandering hordes already, so yeah, you're, you're going to run into zombies. The sooner you get used to it, the better off your build will be. And the, the easier it'll be to get your build done. Because uh, I know a lot of people... I shouldn't say a lot of people. I know some people worry about the zombie attacks while they're building. And it's like, yeah, you just kind of go with it. Don't don't stress it. Come on. There we go. And I'll get up when I get back up on the top. I'll fix that. I may actually go uh, get my foot fixed first. How much do we have left? Okay, we're gonna. We're only going to worry about the verticals right now, then. Come on. Right. So I want to get at least the supports done before we run out of concrete, because like I said, this is pretty much the end of what I have for concrete pre-made. Ah, crap. And I wanted to get through as much of this portion of the build as possible. Come on. How much do we have left? Uh, yeah, we might have enough to, to at least get the supports in. We'll see how this works out. I know I should just go ahead and climb back up there and get it done. Right. Um, I don't have an easy way of getting back up there from here. So, let's go ahead and do this. Oops. I'm just going to go ahead and take some of this stuff. How much, how much do we have left? We have 26 left. Okay. So we're just going to grab all of these extra pieces. We'll put them back shortly. But I want to make sure that we have at least these areas done before we go any further. Okay. There we go. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, and like I said, this is basically what I do off camera, is just run around in circles, picking things up, putting things back down, trying to get things fixed so that it all stays together. So you go there. One too soon. There you go. We have to put another one here. One there. That should be good. And we have rain starting up. Okay. That actually doesn't surprise me. Now, where was the one that we were missing over here somewhere? So, there is. See, I do sometimes remember things. Let's go ahead. Ominous thunder. Alright, so all of you are done. All of you are done. Go ahead and how many do we have left? We have twelve. So we may as well go ahead and get the uh, the outer ring here done. Now that, that is in place. And four. And that's the end of my cement. That is the end of my cement. Okay. 
So, let's go ahead and get the rest of these in. Now, I'm only going to do basically the first two areas here. Actually, I may not even do... Hmm. I may not even do this portion. Unless I need to. So, what I've been trying to do is to save resources a little bit. Um, and not fill in the entire area in on the interior there. Uh, so we'll end up with basically here being full. And then as you go up each tier, it moves in a row. So when we get the first floor done, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Uh, okay. So you see how this is basically all the way out here, and then we'll, this will end up doing this. This will go here, and all of this basically gets filled in it, right? Uh, there's going to be another one here. And we do one more here. All right. So what this allows us to do is we now have reinforcements all the way up here. Oh, uh, you get a spot there. This platform gives us a way to get in and around in here because what's going to happen is is we're going to have basically the center area here where the the dual columns are this is going to be windows on the outer on the outer perimeter um, it'll be a double window facing the center all the way up all right and i will show you what we are referring to here shortly let's get i just want to get the last few of these in Because I know it's kind of weird to look at it without actually knowing what I'm doing here, or what the uh, the long-term plan is. But I will show you, because we've already done this once. Okay, so we have this first platform here, which is, as you can see, wraps all the way around and will wrap all the way around the structure. And then you have your first row of supports, and then a, a inner area here, right? So what's going to happen is on the rounded place here, this is basically where we are, if you notice, comes out to the edge here. Um, this is going to come up. This will be our first set of windows. It goes up three blocks, and then you have your next set of windows. So we're going to do that on all the way around, basically. It's going to start here, carry around. There's going to be columns in the, si in the side here. I still haven't figured out how I'm going to do these corners yet. Uh, but you're going to end up with basically a face like that. And you're going to have one, you're going to have that same face slope on this side and on the other two sides. Now, this is nice because, as you can see, you can kind of walk up it until you stop moving. Um, which makes it kind of interesting from a defense point of view. But we're, you know, since we're rebuilding something that actually exists. It's more about what we're doing there. But what I was talking about with the way that the platforms are set up, basically, as you see, as it moves in, you start running out of space. And then when you get to a point where you really can't use it anymore, I've bluffed out the next level. And what that allows me to do is have levels that we can actually move around freely. If I need to, I can always move workstations up here so we can uh, have storage and other things going on. Make getting uh, materials a little bit easier because then we don't have to go all the way down there to go pick stuff up come all you know and come all the way back up so uh, all right we have a bunch more to do so I think what I'm gonna do is I think we will go ahead and call this one here for now we're gonna we go down this way just because we can
Uh, I want to thank you all for stopping in today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit those like buttons. If you haven't done so already, I do ask that you consider to subscribe as well. Not only do the, do the likes and subscriptions help the channel to grow, they do also let me know that you're enjoying the content. And well, if <laughs> that's kind of what I'm here for. So anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Have a terrific week. And we will see you back here next time for more Seven Days to Die. As always, folks, take care and be safe out there, everybody. There's one zombie. I heard another one over here earlier. Right? Was there another one over here? Huh. Guess you disintegrated. Oh well.